have a total of 1139 The new Minecraft update brought us 9 new dog variants First, I just need 3 of these items I'll explain later Starting with the bones, I need the bones for taming the wolves as I need to find all 9 biomes and tame 2 of each breed I went for the Wither Skeletons as my main source of bones as they also drop Wither Skeleton Skulls which I need for the second item A Bacon, I mean a Beacon I'm almost done here, I'm just trying to get myself Skulls from the Wither And now it's time to spawn the Wither The nether star acquired. For the final item on the list I need a zombie spawner. And I found a spawner. This farm design is extremely simple and efficient. And the spawner is now completed. This way it gets a little bit difficult. I need to travel the whole Minecraft world to find all 9 variants. Luckily though, my base is surrounded by 3 biomes. And I already have the Woods Dog variant which is the easiest to find. The Spruce biome has the Beowulf, which is an iconic variant. Don't mind the creepers chasing me. The third biome is a Snowy Tiger. This wolf variant is one of the best additions so far. So far I've collected 3 out of the 9 variants. The other 6 are found in the much rarer biomes. This will take a lot of exploration but luckily I have an elytra on me. The next variant is a black wolf. It matches the Minecraft theme and is overall a great addition and adds variation. So far I've collected 4 variants. And if you're wondering about the hardcore world, well a video is gonna drop in the next 2 weeks and this is my 100 days Minecraft series. The next dog on my list is a chestnut variant, pretty rare to find in my opinion. But thankfully it only took like 30 minutes of flight. I only need two dogs, sorry. Finally found the rusty wolf. Sparse jungles are quite real. I noted down the coordinates in case I build a base here. But I finally spotted the spotted wolf. The savannah plateaus are hard to come by. And the bonus point, it's really close to the next important biome I'll need. The Badlands. I've run out of rockets again, but it's alright, I can just use the nether travel. I'll also collect a few blocks from the Badlands as I've built each dog a unique piece. So I'll need like 2 stacks of every to record the color. So far I've gotten like 16 dogs. This next variant is usually the rarest to find, as dogs of these variants spawn in packs of 1. But this time we were lucky and found a pack of 3. Not exactly a pack of 3, but we found 3 different packs that randomly spawned next to each other. I've now gotten the whole pack, I just need to breed them like 1200 times, so I need a heck load of rotten flesh. Thankfully I built a spawner in the beginning of this video. I don't want to spoil my next video, but I think you already have the idea in mind. If anyone wondering why I have a nether star, well I personally don't know. Anyways, I've collected every single wolf variant. Here's the Ethan, the Chestnut, the Black, the Rusty and the Spotted. I've filled this massive hole. This is also me collecting a few more blocks of every type to build their houses. Two of the biomes are snow related so I got a ton of snow even though I didn't need half the blocks I gathered. This back ties was also a life saver, now I don't have to search for frozen rivers. Pretty sure this is all the materials I'll need. Maybe I've missed out some leaf types, but I got all the saplings and shears. This red concrete is also a cool addition, as it outline each house. Enjoy the time lapse.
Each barn has its little easter egg and safety shelters. I also built an extra house for the first dog I got. Collecting the bone blocks from the nether was pretty satisfying, but I got shot by a couple of guests and the video would have been too long. I made sure to light up each house so nothing bad happens. Anyways, I collected 1782 rotten flesh, which wasn't enough, seems like my mad grades don't translate to real life, I went back to multiple times. Anyways, rotten flesh done, I just need to spend the next 7 hours of my life breeding the dogs until I've gotten a bigger army than a cookie god. If anyone has any questions about the dogs, just leave a comment. Oh also, I thought a cookie god bred 1000 dogs, but after rewatching his video, turns out he bred way more, so don't mind the counter. By the way, the counter is the total number of the dogs. If you divide the number by 9, which is the number of dog variants, you'd get a rough estimate of the number of dogs of each type. I also had to make sure that no dogs were attacked by the phantoms, as I had to stay away from keyboard for days in order to rebreed the dogs each time. And if anyone's asking, this video took 100 Minecraft days, which is all due to the massive AFK session in mob farms getting gunpowder and auto flesh, as well as searching for the dogs. And if you're wondering what I'll do with all these dogs, I'm not really sure, it's still pretty cool to have a whole army that follows you around all the time. The bases also look really great in my opinion, it has a style and adds texture to my base. I use the numbers in the statistics tab in order to keep track of all the dogs I have. I might have fit more than usual for some dogs, after counting, I have like 130 black dogs instead of 100. It's all good though. And if anyone's wondering why I look like I'm flying this clip, that's because we play a model and the time frame in multiple seconds. That's why the whole world stopped moving. I was made jump. The best dark house I made is probably the spruce one. It took me a long time to use a puzzle design and I think it turned out pretty fine. I had quite a few options for the black dog's house. So I made these overgrown leaves look to make it stand out. I'm thinking about making a large tree house in the middle. I'm more than 3 quarters away and I'm way more ready to finish. The dogs look pretty happy in their new homes and they had a lot of space to run around. I gained like 60 XP levels from breeding and farming zombies. I pretty much thought the video ends here but I found out that I need like 139 more dogs. So more breeding I guess. Breeding dogs is really easy, you just give the dog the flesh and make it stand up and it's lots of fun. And the more you breed the easier it gets. The point I'm making is that these YouTubers take a lot of time to make these videos and they have my utmost respect. It takes Will to stand in front of a screen for hours on end breaking mesh and pixels in a sandbox video game. Either way, I'm really close to finishing. Either way I'm almost done, I just need no more than 2 dogs. I accidentally put an extra 2, you know what that means? Just kidding, no dogs were harmed in the making of this video.